Bad Boys for Life, which was terribly short-sighted on their titling. Will Smith has admitted to this because that was for the third movie. Bad Boys for Life for the third movie? Should have saved that for the fourth one because the fourth one's coming. And now, according to report, it's coming sooner than we thought. It's actually moved up a week but what's more interesting than it moving a week is now what puts it head to head against. This comes to us from our good friends over at Joe Blow, who wrote the following: Sony is seemingly asking Lionsgate, "What you gonna do? What you gonna do now that Bad Boys Four is coming for you?" It was recently reported that the John Wick spinoff series, uh, a movie ballerina starring Ava Anna de Armas will be undergoing extensive reshoots, which will push the release back from June seventh, twenty twenty four over a full year to June 6, 2025. According to the John Wick star Ian McShane, the new shooting for Ballerina, you know it's like they've got to protect the franchise and they want to make it better because they have to protect the franchise. However, Lionsgate in need of a summer release uh, would move the Crow reboot, which comes from filmmaker Rupert Sanders and stars Bill Skarsgård, into Ballerina's original date. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Deadline now reports that Sony is gunning for the same release date uh, for their Will Smith and Martin Lawrence buddy cop comedy sequel. Bad Boys 4 was originally slated to premiere on June 14th, but after the news of The Crow being moved up, they decided to release the film a week earlier on June 7th to go toe-to-toe with Lionsgate. So, first of all, I'll just admit that I forgot Bad Boys 4 was coming that soon. I totally forgot that it was, that it was coming. Like I knew what Bad Boys 4 was coming, but for some reason it's like an... I would just think of it kind of in the ether about sometime in 2025. No, it's coming in just a couple of months. Uh, So there's that. Interesting choice to move it to go head to head with the crow. And I'll tell you what they're thinking. Nobody's going to go see the crow. That's what they're thinking. They're thinking, you know what? We like this matchup. We like this matchup. We like putting, we feel comfortable putting our Will Smith, like as he starts clawing his way out of the the muck of his own controversy, we feel very confident in this matchup of putting our Will Smith lead fourth part of a franchise against a cult classic reboot that has had five different stars, four different directors, seven different sets of writers, and about 10 years of development hell to even get to the big screen. We like this matchup. Now, I'm not sitting here crap-talking The Crow because I haven't seen one frame from The New Crow. Maybe The New Crow with Bill Skarsgård. By the way, how stupid talented is that whole freaking family? Mm-hmm. Um, but for all I know, this New Crow with Bill Skarsgård might become like my favorite movie of the year. I, I don't know. It might be. But clearly... They think they've got a good matchup here, and they think a bad boys would trounce something like the crow. And you know what, Chris? Mm-hmm. I don't think they're wrong. I don't think they're wrong. I mean, I have no idea whether Bad Boys Four or The Crow will be the better movie. I, sure. I, I just don't know yet, and that will certainly have something to do with it. But all other things being equal, I would one thousand percent put my money down on if we're talking about which of these two movies will win that box office weekend. It's going to be Bad Boys. It's going to be bad boys by a mile. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times, that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. So I actually kind of think this is an interesting move 
but also probably kind of the right move. I don't know. What do you think about this? I mean, I, I first of all have to say that th this is not my franchise. I am I am <laughs> Sergeant Angel here. I have never seen a Bad Boys oh, wow. at all. Um, and I need to in the chat usually. It's like, what? You haven't seen Bad Boys? Oh, Bad Boys too. Um, I've never seen them either. I got to see them. Okay. Yay. Oh, Studio B Day. Yeah, yeah. Yay. <laughs> wow. Um, but I do know that these movies have made a significant amount of money. It's a franchise that's done well. Whereas The Crow, not as much. Yes, does it have that cult following? Absolutely. But I mean, ever since Brendan Lee's very tragic death associated with this film series, there's been this kind of idea that the, the film franchise itself is cursed. Right. And it is very much a kind of taken storyline a silent night storyline it's that john wick kind of thing it is a story about vengeance typically right where it's this musician whose fiance is murdered he comes back yada 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 um <laughs> you know typical sunday typical. Well, I, Murder. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah. in this timeline very typical thing that we keep That's seeing true. in movies and franchises i think though this has a little more star power one you got these two guys no matter how you feel about will smith and i think that he should have a comeback and everything i think he's made some really good amends here um and certainly has done far less than other people in hollywood um bill skarsgård great actor wonderful performer i don't think people see him and go oh i know that guy i think it's one of those oh yeah he plays pennywise oh yeah he's done this um boy yeah. kills world i think will be very good for his career but i think the crow Maybe it'll be an amazing film. Maybe it will be. But I feel like Bad Boys is definitely going to be the the one that people are going to see. And then maybe others will flock to the crow afterwards. Was was it Bill that was in John Wick 4? Or was that one of the yes. other Skarsgård brothers? It is Bill, I believe. I yeah. can it double check Bill. that, okay. though. Because there's, there's a lot of Skarsgårds running around. There's I just so saw one of them, of them in them. They're an empire. Yeah, they're, yeah the Skarsgårdian empire, yeah. everybody. We just kind of live in that land. Look, I, again, I think the movie... This is the crow is gonna is a movie right now that has just beaten itself to death. Right. I mean, we all remember when the guy from Boardwalk Empire, the guy with half the face, I forget his name, but then he later starred Jack in the Houston. remake of Ben Hur. Who's that? Jack Houston. Jack Houston was supposed to be the crow. Then I mean they made a big deal out of that, then gone. Luke Evans. I love Luke Evans, by mm -hmm. the way. Luke Evans was then, hey everybody, <laughs> Luke Evans is gonna be the crow. And then departed. By the way, Luke Evans' story, I went into interview one day and I brought Anne along to be the camera person. And I said to Luke Evans, I said, actually, I'm the one who's going to be doing the interview. Uh, Anne is going to be my camera person today. And Luke Evans said, I've never met a more beautiful camera person. And I said to Luke, I said, well, you got great taste because Anne is my wife. To which I have never received a dirtier look from my wife in my life. And like the look of... <laughs> Like, why must you, you ruin doing, everything John? for me kind of look? It was thick. But anyway, love Luke Evans. <laughs> and he was supposed to be the thing. And then he was gone. Jason Momoa was supposed to be. They announced it. Jason Momoa is going to be the crow. They were literally, literally two weeks away from shooting. And then that all fell apart. Tom Hiddleston, Loki, was supposed then si signed up at one point to be the new crow. Not T. Hiddle. <laughs> T. Hiddle. What they needed was... Uh, P. Willie instead of T. Hiddle. Mad, Ray does not like the T. Hiddle. Come on, T. Hiddle. Respect, T. Hiddle. The, respect the P. Willie. But yeah, t <laughs> he was supposed to be it. And then that fell apart. So, like, you'd have to forgive a lot of people. It's like, wait, that's still happening? That That's still... Because it has been years with name <laughs> after name after name after name attached to be the crow. And I, I think a lot of people are in the spot of... Even people who follow movie news are probably in a spot of... Wait, they, they're they still making that? That's still happening? And so, yeah, I kind of like the move. I think Bad Boys 4 will compare up and match up very well <laughs> against the Crow. Both, so Both of them will get their audiences. Will they, though? Yeah, I think so. They're will just, they? They're, they're, like, really different, really. If you want that I've buddy, heard anybody talking about the Crow. Buddy cop thing. I, you know what? I've never been into the or i haven't seen any of the crow movies and like maybe a little bit i know a little bit of the lore but maybe this is something that will get me into it who knows i mean i hope it's good like i hope every movie but i when's guys help me out here when's the last time somebody wrote in a question asking about the crow <laughs> that's it happens but it's been a minute has yeah. it like I, like how long has it been since somebody yeah. asked a question about it's the like crow? literally once every two months or something they're like any hey, updates on the crow 
It's like the probably the same person it's, too. It's been on that cycle where it's like just release it already. You know yeah. what I mean? It's been that long. See people in the live chat saying bad crows for life. Hell yeah! <laughs> so like, there you go. Oh my god, over. that is gold. Right no, this there. is this is our new Barbenheimer. Yes. No, it's not. Yes, it's the new Barbenheimer. Oh boy. Uh, bad crows. It's good. They'd be happy if it was that. They'd be real happy if it became like memed out. <laughs> oh yeah, they'd be super excited about that. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.